Hello, this is David Kettlewell, and welcome to Medical Matters Because Life Matters. There are serious topics in life, and today we're covering one of them, which is suicide and suicide prevention in children and adolescents. What you're about to learn can help you save a life. Thanks for joining us. Hello. Thanks for joining us on this show on suicide prevention with children and adolescents. I'd like to mention that this show was made possible due to funding from the Margaret Clark Morgan Foundation. Thanks so much to them for their help. And our guests today are Dr. Taimisha Buckner and Fanny Johnson Baxter. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Well, a good place to start is a recognition that suicide in young people, I believe it's the highest numbers of any age group. Let's talk about statistics and um, how common this situation is. Suicide is very common and much more common than people initially thought that it was. Um, just to give you an example of that, um, suicide is now um, in the United States the third leasing, leading cause of death for adolescents between the ages of 15 and 19 and the fourth leading cause of death for children between the ages of 10 and 14. Um, so it's very serious. The rates of suicide have increased significantly within the past four decades. Um, while there isn't you know, a direct answer or a link to why the rates of suicide have increased so drastically, um, researchers have attributed some of the increase in rates of suicide to um, you know, more experience with mental health disorders such as depression and substance abuse. Also, I think that society is getting to a point where they are more comfortable to disclose thoughts of wanting to harm self, um, as well as some of the American values have changed over time, as well as a problem that we're all familiar with. There is more access to weapons and firearms and different ways to self-harm. And so that's some of the things that have been identified in the research that have you know, increase the rates of suicide. Is suicide related to drug abuse? Suicide, it has been shown to be related to drug and alcohol abuse, definitely, especially within the adolescent population. What are some of the common signs that a young person, an adolescent, a child, and uh, that, that they could be suicidal? One, of, I think one of the most um, important features to look at is any abrupt or emotional change. Any um, child who is usually kind of uh, even-tempered become highly aggressive, or the even-tempered one may become uh, highly agitated or withdrawn. Something changes abruptly. They begin to give away um, treasured possessions, you know, a favorite jacket or a favorite album, something that they hold near and dear to them, they begin to give it to friends or family. So those are some of the common signs. Also, change of appetite, eating habits, sleeping patterns, being up for days on end, or just sleeping for days on end are also signs. So there's a lot going on if we pay attention. Is it common, doctor, that someone who has attempted suicide once unsuccessfully will make another attempt on their life? It is highly common that a lot of the children and adolescents who make attempts will continue to make multiple attempts. Between 15 to 50 percent of kids will make multiple attempts at committing suicide. There are about um, two million kids that will attempt suicide every year, but about 2,000 kids that actually carry out the suicide and kill themselves. If you suspect that mm -hmm. a friend of yours through their behaviors or their words, and it could be a clear verbalization, verbalization Ver I want to kill myself. Right. 
people don't want to do something because they don't want to be disloyal. Mm -hmm. They don't want to make something true that's not true. They don't want to appear overblown. But that caution could cost that individual their life. Exactly. Yes. And it's better to be safe and safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So you're saying when somebody says, even kiddingly, I'd like to kill myself. Take it seriously. There isn't any time where those kinds of words are anything other than a warning sign that somebody's thinking about killing themselves. And they're never appropriate. You know, I was just teasing. You don't tease that way. So you do have to take it seriously. In the same way that if somebody says, I tried to kill myself last night, exactly. that would be taken seriously. Absolutely. Yes. And is even a step further yeah. because it's beyond intent to a suggested behavior pattern. Even if the person is just saying the words with no intent, we need to help them understand <coughs> that there are other appropriate words to verbalize frustration. Yeah. rather than I want to kill myself. When we come back, we're going to be talking more about how you can help somebody who may be suicidal and how help can be given to those who are suicidal. We'll be right back. For more Medical Matters television shows, go online to medicalmatters.tv.